What are the different types of networks? Did you know that there are different types of networks? Well, today we are diving into the world of computer networks and finding out which network type you are currently using while watching this video. If you haven't watched our video on what is a network yet, then I suggest you go watch that first. But if you have already, then let's start small with the smallest of the networks, and that is a personal area network, or PAN for short. It covers just a few meters and connects devices owned by a single person, like your smartphone, laptop, and wearables, like a smartwatch. That's why it's called a personal area network. It's all your own personal devices connected together. Devices tend to be connected via USB cables or Bluetooth. Next up, we have a home area network, or HAN. This extends the connectivity a bit further, covering your entire household. It's like the digital backbone of your home, connecting devices like your computers, printers, smart TVs, and gaming consoles. Most people don't realize that they have a home area network. All they did was connect their devices to the internet via a router. But that router has technically connected all devices together into a single network. If you spend some time looking at the software that comes with your router, that's normally a website address that you visit on your browser, you can actually manage your home network. Hands often utilize Wi-Fi or Ethernet connections to link devices together. Now let's talk about a local area network or LAN. This is where things start to get a bit bigger. It covers a room, building or office. LANs connect computers, servers and printers and other devices within the same location, allowing for seamless communication and resource sharing. Technically, two computers connected together in a room is a LAN. All computers connected together in one room is a LAN. And all computers connected together in a building is also a LAN. LANs tend to use Wi-Fi or UTP cables to link devices together, but some may even use fiber cables as the backbone to these networks. A WLAN is a special type of LAN that uses wireless technology such as Wi-Fi to connect devices within a limited area. The W in WLAN stands for wireless. These make things easier by allowing more mobility and flexibility for devices by eliminating the need for physical cables. Some devices may still connect via a cable in a WLAN, but it's just that a WLAN has the option of connecting to it wirelessly. Now, sometimes you have a network in multiple buildings that are close together. Whether it's in the same campus, region, or metropolitan area, if it requires multiple buildings, then you call this a metropolitan area network or MAN. Each building has its own LAN, and then we link these LANs across different locations into a MAN, enabling communication between various offices, campuses, or facilities. If these buildings are close enough, then we can do this using Wi-Fi or WiMAX, or they can use fiber optic cables, microwave links, or leased lines for high-speed data transmission. With your smaller networks like LANs and HANs, we normally own the land or building that the network will be created upon. So you have every right to lay cables or install devices on this land or in those buildings. The problem is when we have buildings that are stretched across a city or country. You aren't allowed to install cables in the ground from one building, going through your neighbor's property, through the road, through other buildings to get to your branch or building. You are not legally allowed that. And thank goodness too, you don't want anyone being able to dig or install cables through your house. These networks tend to use the infrastructure of another company that has been given permission by governments or municipalities. These tend to be the telecommunication companies like Telcom, Vodacom or Frogfoot. These companies have installed cellular towers or digital fiber cables throughout the city or country. If you want to connect your two or more branches together in one network, then you need to use them and basically connect via the internet. We call these a wide area network or WAN. This is the big daddy of networks. It spans vast geographical areas like cities, countries, continents, or even the entire globe. WANs connect LANs, MANs, and other networks across different locations, allowing for long distance communication on a global scale. The largest WAN currently is the internet. They currently have the record until we start needing to connect networks on the moon or going to Mars. WANs often rely on technologies like your telecommunication company's lines, satellites, and internet to establish connections between distant networks. So to recap, when it comes to connectivity, you've got the PAN for personal connectivity, a HAN for home connectivity, a LAN for organizational connectivity, the MAN for regional connectivity, and a WAN for global connectivity. Regarding the size of a network, PANs cover the smallest area, followed by HANs, LANs, MANs, and then WANs over the larger geographical areas. When it comes to control, PANs and HANs are typically owned and controlled by individuals or households, while LANs, MANs, and WANs are owned by organizations or service providers. 
When talking about the technology involved, LANs, MANs and WANs may use both wired, which are Ethernet and fiber optic cables, and wireless, which could be Wi-Fi or microwave technologies, whereas a PAN and HAN primarily rely on wireless technologies like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And that's a wrap on the different types of networks. I hope you have a handle on the language of these fantastic networks. There are so many more computer terms that we have installed for you, so make sure you click on that subscribe button so that you don't miss a video that we post. Share us with your friends, leave a like, leave a comment, we'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.